Hey family, it is so good to see you guys. Goodness gracious. Let me tell y'all something. I feel good today. I woke up without a headache. God is good. He is so good. We are going to exactly Connie Barnes. I love you. Cuffing season, girl. It's cuffing season. They hoovering hard, honey. But look, I was trying to get this Facebook live, but I didn't realize that if I put it on Facebook live, it's just going to be me. So I, I don't know. It, it, I, I don't know if, if my guests will be able to come on. So I, I'll figure that out later. So welcome, you guys. We are not going to keep you guys long. We are, this is October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we are going to be aware as women and men. Um, I am asking that everyone, everyone, everyone just put some love in the chat for, for, for Alicia Ashford, who is going to be coming and going to bless us with her story, um, her story of breast cancer, her story of survival, her story that is still going forward because that is definitely so. Leandra, <laughs> she says gummy bear season. And her story is just marvelous. So we're going to get started because we're not going to be here all night because I do have to get up early for a doctor's appointment. So we're not going to be here all night. So I just want to pray us in and then I am going to um, bring the speaker up and then we can and we'll do at the end do questions and answers so if you guys have any answer, any questions. But thank you all for giving her some hearts. Amen. That's beautiful. So let me just go ahead on and pray. Lord, thank you for this day, God. Thank you for what you have done and what you are about to do in our lives. Thank you for survival. Thank you for everyone that is working on healing, God. Restore us, rebirth us, re re develop us, and just, just discover us and just bring us back to you, God, so that you can use us as a vessel. God, anyone that's dealing with breast cancer, anyone that, that has questions about breast cancer and need to know more information, God, we ask you to just cover them and just be a vessel around them, God. Just rain your blood down over top of them. God, we ask you, we ask you to just make this be a, a, a chat room full of just understanding, loving, and caring women and men that's going to understand and listen to Miss Alicia's story as she tells her story, God. And just grace her and bless her with your presence as she perseveres and moves on with her breast cancer and make everyone aware of everything that is going on. Amen. So we just want to say in Jesus' name, amen. We're going to move forward. Good evening, everyone. Deborah Jackson, Leanne, J JB, my cousin. Cousin Max, Connie Bonds. I thought I just seen my 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 Connie Bonds and okay, the Connie Bonds. Max, how you doing? So I'm gonna bring up Miss Alicia. If you have any questions while she's talking, just kind of jot them down so we won't hold you guys too long. Um, cause she does have a baby, <laughs> so she got to take care of her baby. So I'm gonna bring her up and introduce her to you guys, and then I am going to mute my mic, but I'm still gonna be here. And that way, if you guys have questions, you ask it. I'm gonna put it up on the on the um, screen so that we, we can see it. Amen. All right. So here she is, guys. This is Miss Alicia Ashford, and she will give you all her information. And I am going to step back a little bit and just be quiet because y'all know I talk a lot. <laughs> Amen. It's the, the flow is yours, sis. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Alicia Ashford. Um, I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer at the age of 36. It's not um, a very popular cancer. Most people don't even know what triple negative is. Um, also, I'm a radiation therapist. So I actually treat cancer. And just to hear the term triple negative breast cancer was foreign to me as well. I, I, I did not know what was going on. Um, my journey started out, I had a pregnancy. During that pregnancy, I could not breastfeed. They thought it was a clogged duct. So we went with that that idea that it was just a clogged duct. And uh, two years went by and I still had that same clogged duct. But then the clogged duct started forming higher up into my superclad, my chest area. Um, at that point, we knew it was a concern. Uh, well, I knew it was a concern because of my field. My doctors... They didn't feel like it was concerned. Um, insurance companies didn't feel like it was concerned, even though because of my age. I had to pressure my insurance company to call my doctor's office to pressure them to give me all of my diagnostic exams. Uh, went for my diagnostic exams. At that point, my biopsies come up um, undetermined. I had my two-year-old, at that point she was two, I had my two-year-old with me. I was just going there thinking it's a regular test. Come to find out it's undetermined. They could not tell me 
what I had or my pathology. They just knew something was wrong. Um, I went through three attempts for biopsy and they still didn't have a clear definition of what was going on. So at that point, I took it into my own hands. I called my girlfriends. We're radiation therapists. And we all got together. We found a different group of doctors. And we figured out that I had triple negative. Rare form. It affects maybe 10 to 15% of us um, young women under 40. So, therefore, we would not be in that percentile that they would say would need testing because statistically we're too young. But nowadays, cancer doesn't have an age. It's getting younger and younger and younger. And, um, yeah, I had I was in that 10 to 15 percentile. And most people say you get it. Oh, it's something wrong with a genetic gene, a genetic mutation. I got tested for that. I didn't even have a genetic mutation. They cannot tell me how I caught it. I just caught triple negative. Um, I believe it may have been the hormones from the pregnancy because they say the hormones mess with your body and does weird things. It could have been that. It could have been um, the long-term use of birth control. Birth control is also known to cause different cancers and i think it's the foods the genetic foods as well the things that the pesticides are that they're spraying on our foods so it's a, a awareness that need to be put out there to our young black girls we need to get tested we need to push for ourselves and these insurance companies hey i know you say i don't have this in my gene line i know you said i don't meet the age qualifications but i have an issue and i need to be screened i deserve to be screened. i'm paying you you're not paying me it's, it's, it's the opposite. Um, what else I want to touch on is just, and then, you know, just the process of everything that happened so quickly because triple negative is so aggressive. Um, I was diagnosed in November. I went for all, all the exams, everything that I need to do, my blood work, my CT scans, my PET, you name it. Uh, we had the ball rolling. I was to start treatment in January. Come December, I went from stage one to stage three, just that quick. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very aggressive. It's very fast. So they had to change my entire regimen and start me out with chemotherapy first to just to slow the growth. So imagine if I hadn't caught it when I caught it and then I waited, I could have been stage four terminal because it's also one that also spreads quickly. So it doesn't just grows there. It spreads quickly. So I went from stage one to stage three, and then I went from one breast to the other breast. So I ended up having another nodule in my left and my right breast when I went for treatment. Uh, all of that and the fast movement, I tell people support is very important. If you don't have support, at least have one person that can be there for you, at least one person. Uh, my family's in South Carolina. They were all here for me. They was on the phone supporting me the best they could. My mother came. I had some good, great girlfriends that showed up. They kept me in line, kept me going to my appointments on time. Um, you just need somebody to advocate for you, be there for you, because everything goes so fast that you don't even know what to ask. And like I said, I was a therapist. I treated the cancer. I didn't even know what to ask. I was just so overwhelmed with the entire process and how quick everything happened that my mind couldn't catch up with my body and I couldn't, and, and I didn't have the time to stop to catch up. I needed to beat this cancer. So therefore I didn't have time to process it. Um, yeah. Mental health, mental health is big. That's another thing they don't discuss with us throughout the process. It's like, well, I'm your doctor. Trust me. We're going to get through this and all that. But behind the scenes is your mental health. And that's a big problem in our community. We don't focus on that. We just like to say someone's strong or you can make it through it. But in reality, that person is strong, but it's, you have to think, why are they this way? They're strong, but they need the emotional support as well. We need time to process what we're going through. And I'm still going through it. Um, I still have to have my reconstructive surgery and I'm still doing immunotherapy. And it's just, it's, it's a toll on the mental health. And that's a factor that I'm trying to figure out now. And this is part of my mental health to express to everyone what happens. Um, I didn't do the support groups. I didn't do the support chats. Uh, at that point where I was at, I just needed to talk. I didn't need to hear other issues, other people complaints. I wanted answers. I just, I just wanted steps and answers. So the only person that I confided to was my grandmother and God. 
I tell everyone to have God, speak with God, be with God, have faith in God, walk with God. If he brought you to that journey, he will not lead you astray. He will walk you through it. You just have to have trust and confidence in him, not confidence in man, not confidence in anyone else, but yourself in God. And I'm still walking that journey and I still talk to him daily. Um, he helps me get through it. As you can see, now I'm getting emotional. <laughs> he helps me get through it and to understand everything because I went through that. Why me? Why, what, why me? But like my grandma said, why not you? Look what you did with the family. Look how far you come. Look how strong you are. Even though you don't like to be strong, just look at your fortitude, your attitude. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep going. And to inspire other women, young women, women that think that it can't happen to them. Why? Because we're so young. We're still thinking about the cars, the job. Oh, I got to have my family. I got to have my kid. Um, but this is a very serious thing that's happening now. Breast cancer is getting younger and younger and younger. And just like my prognosis went so fast, most women are encouraged to do fertility banks, fertility clinics um, to help preserve their eggs and everything. I didn't have that choice. I, I couldn't. I didn't have time to sit there and wait and then freeze and then wait again and freeze again. I had to save my life. So I'm lucky to have my one-year-old. Well, she's three now, but when I had this condition, it was one. Um, I'm just, I'm lucky. And I'm lucky I caught it in time. And I just want to spread the awareness to our young women and the mental health and to have faith and strength. Any questions or anything? I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Hello, Shelley. Sorry, I knocked myself off the stream. Yeah. Okay. Look, <laughs> I said so. I had a question about the trick of triple negative. So I, I don't. What 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 does that mean? Triple negative. Triple, triple negative. Um, um, the tumor does fine. The any other. You have, you have estrogen, progesterone. It doesn't respond to those at all. And then there's a protein. It doesn't produce that protein at all either. So treating it is very difficult because usually treatment with chemotherapy, it's uh, the receptor will respond to that and it'll start attacking it. But by, this is the receptor, this is the chemo. It'll respond, it attaches and it'll eat it away. Um, if it doesn't respond, it's just, it's not, it's not doing anything. So your tumor just continues to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And grow. So it becomes not responsive. Um, it just doesn't respond. They try to come up with a treatment plan to help treat you. Um, at this point, if it doesn't respond, their goal is to try to outrun it and try to get it shrink as small as they can, which they did for me, and to remove it. And hopefully that'll be it. But we're higher risk, too, for reoccurrence also. Okay, so we have a question, and she said, when did you first find out? When did when I did find I... out? That you had breast cancer. That yes. I had breast cancer in November of last year. It's November 10th of last year. Um, I had the nodule when I started breastfeeding my daughter, so that would have been 2019, that it just stayed dormant. For a minute, we thought it was just a clogged duct because it was so small. But it was calcified. But as time progressed, years happened. I don't know what happened. Like I said, I think hormones. It just flared up. And it became very pronounced. I was just, I felt the pain. And then I couldn't move that shoulder sometimes. But I didn't pay it any attention. You have a two-year-old. You're picking her up all the time. I had a 35-pound two-year-old. <laughs> so I was picking her up, moving her around. You know, I just thought it was tiredness, stiffness. But as time went on, I was like, no, this is not right. This, this is not right. I have to look at myself like I would look at my patient that came to me with this. What are you thinking? <laughs> and that's when I went and got checked. Okay. I think you answered a little bit of this one, but I'm just going to go ahead and read it anyway. It says, what were your signs or symptoms you had before the diagnosis? Uh, before, it was just me not being able to breastfeed in the left breast and then... That was it. No aches, no pains. It was just dormant, which is scary that I had that for that long. And then out of nowhere, it just flared up like a really huge knot. 
And as time went on, it made pressure. It put pressure on that shoulder area. Um, it was a little itching. But, you know, we wear our bras and everything. Okay, I'm itching. Let me go on about my day. A little lotion, a little cocoa butter. Go on about my day. Um, I actually, one time I went to pick her up. And I lost complete sensory in that arm. And we both, well, fell for it because I didn't want to drop her. So I fell as well. Um, but that was it. I didn't really have any other symptoms. No tiredness, nothing like that. All right. So I'm going to give you some love. Melton with Milton said, I always have your back. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Thank that you. That is so sweet. Let me see if I can find another question. All right. Here's a question. Do you think your nutrition had anything to do with it? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm telling everyone these foods are genetically modified. Um, if you can go, just, just go to whole foods, just go to natural foods and get your foods. It's hard to do. It's expensive. Yes, but it is a must do. And I'm still working on that now with my journey. We're getting through this, the nutrition part, um, incorporating new diets, everything. Cause also your nutrition is going to play a factor in your chemotherapy. This is your whole body recovery. It's a whole new body. Mm, okay. Okay. So, um, you said that, okay. So you've already had your, your chemo sessions and your, um, and your, um, radiation. Yes. Yes. Okay. So have, so have you had your, um, mastectomy or did you have a mastectomy? Yes. yes. I, double, double. And doing a pro. Not only was there a mental, cause you're different. You suffer with body uh, dysmorphia, the disfigurement. Luckily, my surgeon was top tier. I have beautiful scars. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. She did a great job, excellent job. I have my reconstruction coming up in January. Um, it's called the D-flap. I didn't want to do the silicone, the implants, because as you know, that also runs another risk of cancer. So if I just beat cancer, why would I want to put something else cancerous in my body? I said no to that. I'd rather be flat chested. And that's when I was referred out to the D flap surgeon. It was only two, I think three, actually three or four in the Richmond area with VCU. So I'll go through that in January. But um, I suffer from body disfigurement as well, dysmorphia as well. Man, okay. So if you get the silicones, that is still, that could be cancerous as well. Yes. Yes. Believe Believe me. Me. They can, they can turn, turn and, they, and can they can also, also uh, make, make a, a sack, sack around, around them. them. They're called, they're called cat sacks. Sacks. They're they're really really home. Home. And they can start rejecting the body. So my thing is, if I, no. I canceled that consultation. I said, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I just got over. No, I got over a hurdle. I'm not going through this one. Amen. You getting some love in here, girl. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and this is um Miss Pasto. Is it Pasto? Hi, love. You are you are a major inspiration. That is so sweet. That's good. And then I think this is your auntie. <laughs> I'm here for you always. This got to be your auntie. She's um um I think she says she's so proud of you. She says she loved you at the beginning part. So hey auntie. That must be auntie. Yeah. All right. So, so what is your next, what is the next goal or the next step that you have to, um, Hey, Keisha Spady, what is your next, your next goal or the next thing that you have to do now? My next, my next um, well, it's two things. My next step in the process, I'm still doing immunotherapy. So I'll still be on immunotherapy for another six months. Um, just to keep the tumor down. So you uh, got, you got to explain what, uh, um, um, what you said, immuno therapy. It's a system. It's called Keytruda. It's a clinical clinical drug, but it has been proven to how can I put it? Keep the tumor away, the shrink down, and it. But it has real bad side effects. I have severe bone pain. It's days I can't move. I'm literally locked up, like I can't move. I can't move. Um, the brain fog it continues, and Keytruda makes it even worse. So I still have the brain fog. Um, but my next step will be the reconstruction surgery. So I have to do that. But I will be going to the doctor a lot more than regular breast cancers because of the reoccurrence and just how aggressive it is. Most people on a five-year survival rate, 
I'm one year. I have to go year by year until I get to five years. Once I get to five years, he said, I'll be in the clear. He won't be worried about me. But I have to do that way. And, and then, then go for my mental health. You know, people always say, just sit still. I've never been that person. I've always had to be goal oriented. And I, I, it's just me. I actually made a business and it helped with my mental health to connect to people and to just be creative and do my craft. And it's my beauty business. It's Beauty by Nikki. Um, and I'm going to continue to expand that and just work as I can, when I can. And it, it really is, it's really helping me. Amen. 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 Connie Barnes said that, um, Alicia, you are very smart to refuse that silicone. You are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I want that. I, that I, uh, um, it is. I'm not vain at this point. I just wanted to be alive and my health was the most important thing. And then I have another question that says, um, what if you move fat from one place of your body to fill your breasts? That's, That's my After they take my stomach and put, get made me some new breasts, I want them to take some of my back fat and make them a little bigger and I can have me a new body. <laughs> girl, you about to have some double D's, ain't you? Girl, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. I got rid of them. My back feel better. My back feel a whole lot better. <laughs> I'm gonna try for some seeds. <laughs> now, uh, this one, this person gonna stop because you about to make me cry with my tissues. The next step is mental restoration. Wait a minute, my chat is moving up. The next step is mental restoration. We are about to start back traveling. I'm claiming it. Life will be even more beautiful than you can remember. That from um, melting with Milton. That was that was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. That was that was nice. I love that. I love that. Yeah, no, yes. that's I, I I have a completely different perspective on life. Just different outlook. Um, I'm more about me. I used to be more people focused. I need to do this for others. I, you know, I put myself last a whole lot, and now this has really opened my eyes to. I need to live differently. I have to put me first and I need to focus on my health and just get back to a positive place. Hey Amen. Cause you got a baby and that's deep. You know what I'm saying? To do, I, I commend you because to do all of this and still take care of a baby, that's a blessing. Ooh. And that is God sent. God has something for you to do. That's amazing. <laughs> um, Auntie said your mom is listening as well and she can't comment. <laughs> So she like my mom. She can't figure out how to, how to comment. I love hey, it. I'm sorry, sorry, mom. mom. Hey. <laughs> but it's just it's just a blessing to be able to hear how positive you are. So were you, were you always this positive, or did you just get dis, Was you discouraged at first? How, how was it when you first found out that you had? breast cancer and it was triple negative and what you would have to go through how how did you feel when 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 they because i know you said you worked in this field so how did you feel when the doctor told you this um when they surrounded me because they literally surrounded me it was four or five people because i had my daughter with me as well when they told me um anyone that knows me no i'm gonna get it done girl they looked at me they told me they couldn't tell me exactly what it was but it was undifferentiated my line of field, you do not want to hear undifferentiated. I said, we got to do what we got to do. I didn't have time at that moment to sit in how I was feeling or to even think about my daughter. You know, I, I just knew I had to do what I had to do. And I checked out emotionally. And I'm just recently checking back in because how fast things needed to progress. And I said, I need to do what I need to do at stage one. So, you know, I was a beast when I found out it turned into stage three. They had to go. They had to go without a doubt. I didn't have time. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm really just now catching up emotionally, mentally. It's just, it's, it's, it's a road. It's a journey. It's a journey. Amen. All right. So Platinum T says, you are so brave and I'm so proud of you. You go, Nikki. We love you. <laughs> and um let me see um let me see we have another one australia i am so proud of you from australia amen amen 
Um, let me see. Trish T says, thanks for sharing your story, Alicia. I admire your strength. Boss chick, keep grinding and shining. Miss Quad. Right, Miss right. Quad. She got it. She she got it. She got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Um, Louise E um says, You are a living testimony. Thank God for your strength. That and that right there, let me tell you something. That that's deep because I mean, just you're young and you have a baby and you are just doing it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. how, how, how do you explain, how do you explain to your baby? Like what, what's going on with mommy? You know? At first I couldn't, I didn't know how to, um, but I could tell she knew something was wrong just her interactions and she didn't really talk much, but just the way she interacted, I could tell she knew something was wrong. And then, uh, one day I showed, I came home with a bald head. If y'all could have seen how she looked at me, <laughs> but then she got used to it and she just started rubbing on it. Then she would lay on him like, lay, this is not a magic ball. This is my head. Um, then she would lick on it. So she, she came, she, at one point she called me daddy. I have no, no. So I started wearing a little wig, a little hair. Cause I can't be called daddy. <laughs> but um, she did good. She did good. Okay. Well, that's that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Um, I, um, Latoya said, Uncle Dino. I think it is. Uncle Dino says he's so proud of you. You go, Nick Nick. Yeah. We're proud of her too, Uncle Dino. Yeah. And then there's another one. Um, Larry said, Hey, Cuzzo, he loves you. Thank, he thank loves you. you. But that that's deep. You um you are you are you you are strong. You are um a strong young woman um to be able to um to move forward after such a you know, but I guess when you work in that field, you how did you feel working in that field and then knowing that it was you now on that side of the table you know it's like you you see people and you talk to people as they 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 you hear their story and you you're rubbing them on their back and you're not even thinking because that's your job mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you just walk out the door and you don't have to see it anymore but how did you feel being on that side of of the spectrum and and doctors telling you that how, how, how did you feel emotionally mentally what, what what were you thinking you know like how did you even grasp it because that's a lot that is a lot it, it, it's a lot and um that's i'm currently going through that now um to be honest there are no words to even explain it uh it got so bad where i didn't know if i could even go back to work um it's like that affinity loop i felt like because you know I'm, I'm very close to god my grandparents were deacons and preachers um and it just felt like what is there to come out of this? Like, I I didn't know. I, I to, today I still I still can't on some patients. I still can't. Um, I did good through the chemotherapy, but when it came time for the radiation therapy consult, I cried almost that whole day, and I couldn't even do the consult without two of my girlfriends who are also radiation therapists. Um. I'm getting emotional. I just couldn't do it because it's different being there for somebody else, but then to be under that machine. That's deep. It's a milk. Yeah. I can't imagine. I mean, just can't imagine it's it's very very touching um it's it's what women what we go through with this is 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 deep and men because some some men do do get breast cancer as well but just to have to go through it and then you go do you live alone just you and the baby oh yeah oh yes okay so so you you live alone with the baby so you're trying to go through breast cancer you're trying to work you're trying to heal and you're trying to take care of a three-year-old who's everywhere yeah yeah and don't and forget, don't forget back to, back work. to work trying to be trying supported, to be supported to, uh, pay, pay. while i'm while i'm my, my, and also and also <laughs> right 
Yeah. All right. So this is a question. I mean, this is a, it's such a blessing to see you rise to the occasion and stand strong when the road became rough. That, that right there is deep. Yes, that is deep. Um, my God brother said, uh, since your strength would definitely inspire other women to tackle the, the condition head on. I'm so proud of you and having strength to share your experience. Stay blessed. We love you. And wait a minute. Because it's a comment that's stay blessed. We love you. <laughs> we love you, sister. And then let me see. Another one is um, my spiritual sister Demetrius said, Proud of you, sis. My mother is a breast cancer survivor as well. Praises to the most God and bringing you all through this. Glory. That that's that's the God's honest truth. Because this this is I didn't know that um it was it was quite that, yeah. It, it, it's kind of it's it's a lot. Mm -hmm. it's a lot it's a lot so um so when is your next i know you said you were having the surgery um so when is your next surgery tell, tell us about your neck your next surgery well wait a minute so how long has it been you still in radiation no 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 i still do immunotherapy do i go every three weeks for the immunotherapy um so that's coming around soon as well um and then the surgery all right. So your next, okay. So the next surgery is in when? Uh, is it this year? Next, next year. year. Oh, oh, so it's next year. Okay. Why you gotta wait so long? To heal. Your body has to heal. You've been through a lot. You can't have them cutting and slaying. You got to heal first. <laughs> they can't just do everything at one time. You heal <laughs> one time. Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. It just sounds like a lot. It is. It is. It is. Sounds like a lot. So are you ready for that part? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. This is a lot. Anybody know me? This is a lot of surgery for me. This is a lot. A lot. But um, got to do what has to be done. So I have a question. Okay. So once you have that surgery, is it any way that anything... Okay. So they are going to remove fatty tissue or or fat from from your stomach and your or your back and put into your breast so is it anything that um like will you have to do anything after that or is that just it like will you have to take a certain hormone a certain pill or anything to kind of or is it just over you you mm -hmm. get your, your okay that's right i would still be doing immunotherapy though um uh, because it's just fat transfer, cell transfer. So there's a possibility for it to come back. And I have to do the whole process over again. Um, which is something I hope doesn't happen. But just as this was, to me, wasn't supposed to happen. It's, a, it's an unknown. They can't even tell me how it happened. So things in life happen. And that's why I want to get the word out more. We need to get screened for young Black women. We are overlooked. Because we could say we don't feel good, and a lot of doctors think we are lying. I've been through it. I've seen, seen it. it. To and get I, pain I, pills. Amen. Yep. Yep. And the community. Because you're back. back. You're strong. You can get through this. No, something is actually wrong. So, you know, and then the mental health is a big part that I want to make aware. And then just the, the mental fortitude and the body disfigurement. A lot of people don't think about that part going through this. It's a lot, a lot on a young woman. So, so, um, so you found yourself depressed with the mental part? I think, I so. think so. Yeah. I didn't, I know. didn't know. That's it. That's it. But I think so. Because mm -hmm. I lost all my hair. Then to lose not one, but both your breasts. Then to, for me, I was, I'm always independent. I'm always on the go. Um, couldn't do that to lose your feeling in your hands. So you go to pick up something just to eat and you think it's there and it's not there. It's, it's on the floor. Um, to days you wake up and you can't walk. You, it's it's an unknown. It's a space of uncertainty. And that I don't like. But I had to. And um, I've always been with God. But this has really restored and really brought me closer. Just to have faith, trust the path, see it through. You can't see it, but he sees it. He knows the outcome. He just got to keep going. 
Girl, I felt that in my soul when you just said that. Yeah. You got to keep going. I needed to hear that. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Um, Kimmy, Kimmy says, love you, Nick. I'm so proud of how strong you've been through this all. Is that your cousin? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And let me see. Healing Your Silence says, don't ever feel body shamed. You are a survivor. Amen. 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 That's that's just woo wee. Anybody else got any questions? Any questions? Any questions? You have anything else you want to say, um, Miss Miss Ashford? Just away. You think something's wrong with your body? Go get checked out. Push for them to check you out. Push for the insurance company to pay for it. Push for it. I called the insurance company almost fifty times. Called the office. I even popped up. I ain't want no appointment. She had to see me that day, <laughs> and I got checked out. That's exactly how it happened. All right. Miss Latoya said Granny will be praying all over all over you and for you. I know she got you from above. This is just a chapter. This is just another chapter in the book of your life that will be able to give testimony to. Keep going. I love you. Okay, she gonna make me cry. Yeah, oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was deep. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, that was deep. Okay, so we have another question from um, Miss um, Pop Pop Pastel. Are all all the lumps removed? Are all the lumps removed? Yes. And speaking of uh, lumps of tumors, I actually had five. I had three in my left, two in my right. That's how quickly it happened and spread it from just yeah being higher up. It went from one to five and two. And two my are you serious? I'm serious. It's 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 aggressive. It's very aggressive. Mine was very 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 aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Auntie say, "Mom says you're doing great." <laughs> she in the back listening. <laughs> I love it. Your family is awesome. All right. So, um, Connie Barnes says, "On behalf of Chelly and all the Black women, we will be donating breast tissue." I will be donating breast tissue for a cure. Love you. Yeah. Susan Conan Foundation. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Connie. That's that's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yes, this is this is this this, yeah. this, this was needed. And you know, I think that um I think you're positive and, and very positive because you are um a child of the king and and I can feel it and um I know that um the things that that we go through with with being sick and healing um I, I I'm, I'm a total person on healing but what you said was just perfect because sometimes when you go through things people don't think that it's mental mm -hmm. what you go through so and just understanding that you had breast cancer then you had to understand that different things was going to start happening to you like you were going to lose your hair you you don't know what day you're not going to be able to get up to help the, with the baby you know you gotta you gotta feed the baby the baby i mean she's three so that means she gotta go to daycare you know a school so yep, yep. that's a lot and then you're doing that with no help i mean you know so how did you feel how did you feel like with with that? I had help. I had my mom. She came down. And then I had uh, my girlfriends. They came. Heaven sent all of them. Heaven sent whatever I needed. They were there for me. They took me to the appointments. They sat with me through chemo. Um, daughter got dropped off at daycare. So I had help. You're going to need help, especially if you have a little one. Um, because you, you just, you, mentally you're not there. You're not focused on anything. You're just showing up. And that's just the truth. You're just showing up. That's all you can do. So you have the other people there, like I did with my my girlfriends. I love them to death. And my mom, too. They showed up, and they were there to take on the things that I did not and that I couldn't. They remembered a whole lot that I knew I didn't. And um, they asked the proper questions. And um, it also helped that my girlfriends were also radiation therapists. So the things that I missed, they knew to ask and to jump in and to help me with because I'm not going to take credit. They got me through this. 
they did. They showed up and they showed out for me. And I love, I love them. them. So it was definitely your support system. And you have to have a support system when you're going through something as um, crucial. I mean, because it is crucial because at one time, I know you probably were like, I can't believe this didn't happen to me. Baby, baby. Hey, hey. Officers, officers got to do what we got to do. But once I left, the same girlfriends that helped me through, I called them and said, y'all. Everyone know how to talk to y'all. Y'all ain't gonna believe what I'm what's happening. <laughs> it's like what's going on? I, I broke down and I told them. And um there was no questions asked. Just like I got you. That afternoon we already had a team of doctors that we were deciding to do. Like we put together our own team. Um down to the consoles, the days I need to come talk to them. If everything was lined up, they researched the doctors. It it, it was just amazing. Like it, everything was ordered, everything was in place. I have no words, but thank you for them ladies. Yeah. Yes, you hear that, Mama? Thank you, Mama. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and and everybody. Yep, Chick and Tanya, if they are on here. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's, that's, yeah, support, our support system is definitely um, much needed when you're going through um, things of this nature. Um, most of the women or, and men that are in this chat, besides for um, everyone that's um, um, supporting you, we are um, we are healing from narcissistic abuse. We are healing from um, domestic violence, and um, some of us are healing from breast cancer as well, and have been through breast cancer. So this story was definitely much needed for women all around the world, and it is like. Mom says she got you always. Mama say, I'm look, I'm about to steal your mama. <laughs> What's she at? I'm about to steal. She probably can cook too. <laughs> I'm, about to steal, I'm about to steal mama, okay? Because mama is mama not playing. Mama, we love you. God bless you, mama. Um, but yeah, it's just like um so okay, so my this is my question. This is a question I had to I, I got a little sidetrack because mom I love mama already. So um how do you feel now not having breasts? You know, I actually thought it would be worse. But um, having no breasts, my back is a whole lot better. I had some really big breasts. Um, no back pain. I could wear any shirt. Even when I was bald, I, I, I felt a whole lot better, more confident. I don't know where it came from. Even now, like I'll just go like this and don't care. I show up, yeah. I, I to me, I'm better. So and it's I, not a it's not a confidence thing or no, if you no. um it's a be honest, honest, for life, life. how I look when I was bald and have the short haircut now, I get so many compliments. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, so that's good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> Make me a wig whenever I want to, <laughs> but I'm, I'm 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 keeping it low for now. Yeah. So did you lose all of your hair? Or you you cut it off? Did you at least ninety percent of my hair? So instead of patches, I went to um, my good girlfriend. Another, she's a hairdresser, replica of image, Shakita Collins. She went on ahead and chopped me on down and shaved me on through. Yes, ma'am. All right. We got um, Latoya says, I am willing to donate some of mine. It's okay, boo-boo. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> she is a mess. That's good. Anybody else have any more questions? This is this is powerful and it is so needed. Like I had no idea like mm -hmm. that you went through all that. That is um that's deep. Um especially with having a baby. It was a lot. Um that's why I want to speak about it and just mental health. Mental mental health we got to take care of ourselves we got to take care of our mental and it's okay to not be okay i had to learn that i had to learn that 
it's okay. And just be still. You have to be still with yourself and be patient. Just be patient. That's deep. Yeah, that's deep. You have to be patient. You have to be still with yourself and you have to pray. Yes. Yes. Because God brought you to this so he'll bring you out of this. <laughs> and that's exactly what he did. And that is to use you as an advocate and to use your testimony to help other females. Because actually, if you think about it, if you think about it, as you were, if, if you weren't in that field, in that line of field that you were in, you have to think, would you have ever caught it? No. no. Because they don't usually do breast exams until what, the age of 40? Uh, Mammograms? I think they have a family history. They'll do it sooner. Um, and I, I, I have that, but they still were saying I was too young because I was, what, 33, 34 at that time? Um, just to be certain, it was a clogged duct. And um, they didn't want to see me until it started protruding. It was literally protruding out of my skin. I go lay my shoulders back, and there's a huge knot. Yeah. Whew. So you so you found it yourself? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Yep. So get, so that, get that paper off Amazon, ladies, to tell you put your arm up above your head and get the rubbing. Rub, 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 rub. Make sure nothing's there. So, um, so, but I know, like, when you go to the doctor, they kind of do this. Yeah, knee. yeah, knee. Nah, nah. Mine was deep. You had to get down. I had a lot of breasts. You had to get. You had to work, work it. Get into it. Get into it. Be one with yourself. Feel yourself. Know yourself. Yep. That's amazing. That's amazing. Anybody else have any? Um... <laughs> I love your family. Can I be in this family? <laughs> Grandma Prudence said, you better tell it. <laughs> I love your family. They are so supportive. That's that's what I'm talking about. It is it is a blessing to have a support team yep, yep. when you are going through. No, you know what I'm saying? Because, like you say, your mental status. It's like I'm I'm sure the depression, the under the not understanding how did this happen, the what's next, like the the scary moments, and and you just have to um to be aware, and then you're still going through it. You know what I'm saying? It's like yep, you still yep. have so much more to do. So what is the time limit that you will be totally ringing the bell and just saying, you know, I am, well, you are can are you cancer free now? Uh, yes, now I am. Yes. Yes. I had clear margins. Um, I'm good with the therapy and the chemotherapy and the radiation therapy. So yes, clear margins for right now. Right now. Amen. But just, but just, it, it is very important to identify, um, your mental awareness because, Cause I, you go through things you don't even understand what you're going through. You don't even realize something mentally is happening to you. And a lot of people don't understand it either. So they'll say, oh, she's standoffish. She's starting to be mean, nasty. No, no, you have something going on with you mentally. And a lot of us, we're not aware of that. It, it affects us that deeply. It does. Listen to the baby. <laughs> She like she out her a good time. All right, let me see. It says Alicia, Alicia, this is great information. Thank you for sharing your story. May God bless you. Thank you. Um, it was another one that I thought I saw. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Louise, there you go. All right. So Louise E says, I really needed this. I lost two nieces, both less than the age of 40 years old to cancer. You are correct. This disease has no age limit. I often wonder how they felt. Yeah. Cause I, I, I just kept telling my doctor something wrong. Something's wrong. And it said it was me. It, it was, it's in my head. It's a clogged duct. And you feel unseen. You feel unheard. Um, and at that time I went into warrior mode and I didn't care if they saw me as an angry black woman. This black woman wanted to live. Okay. That's 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 some real talk right there. Look, you can see me as whatever you want to see me. What you gonna see me with is this Bible and this holy oil trying to <laughs> that part. Um uh JB says where well, you look good. Thank you. You look good. You look very happy. You look you look at peace. 
And um, I did a video this morning and I talked about peace. And you look at peace. Mm -hmm. So with looking at peace, looking, going through what you went through and now you're at peace. And it, it hasn't it hasn't been a year yet, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's wonderful. God. God, that's wonderful because God God brought you out, and He's He's using you as a as a vessel to talk to women, and that 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 is awesome. And to talk to women that 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 really don't understand, um, you know what's going on with this because it's a lot of black females right now that I know personally that's dealing with uh, breast cancer. And it makes you wonder, like, all of a sudden, it's like that's all you're, you're hearing about is is breast cancer. So with with the triple negative, this is my question. I, I wrote it down right there. But with the triple negative, were, were you her too? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Triple negative. Um, that's what's called triple negative. It doesn't respond to any of that. It's one of the worst ones you can have. Um, there's no certain treatment that would, you know, it's all clinical. There's no specific treatment. It's the most aggressive. It's the most deadliest. Um, it only affects a few of us. Um, yeah, it, it just doesn't respond. It just grows and grows and grows and grows. So you, you said something, and I'm going to rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. But you said something a few minutes ago. You said something about in case it comes back. Cause, cause I'm still here. Mm, it ain't coming back. Yes, God, God got this. We, we, we ain't going to spit that fire. It's not coming back. In Jesus' name, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Because let me tell you something, you can be right up on that television show advocating and doing what you got to do to prove that this is just, this is, this is your, your step. Now it's time for you to move forward and help other people. Because this right here, you helped a lot of people, right? It's 26 people in here. And you're talking to them about something that is so personal and, and, and something that is so, it's hurtful, you know what I'm saying? And and you got over it. You got over it. So that, that proof right there that God is sovereign. That proof right there that God is worthy. That proof right there that God is amazing. That proof right there that God has something else for you to do. He has something for you to persevere and do. Because God is not done with you yet, young lady. You're not even 40 years old. And you have sat here and told me a story story of an 80-year-old. You didn't. You got a baby. You, you paying bills. You're working. And you did all this with breast cancer. That is amazing. Don't forget, Don't forget started, started, a business. started a business. And started a business. Hallelujah. And started a business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All this with breast cancer. This, that is deep. And you can't tell me. That ain't coming back. We yeah, rebuke yeah. that in the name of Jesus. That ain't coming back. Well, you got something to do, baby. And this is your start. And you just going to flow from this. I promise you. You gonna flow from this. You gonna flow from this. Okay. This, 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 this is amazing, and it, it, it's amazing to see a young, young black female, young beautiful black female, go through this, and just to understand that this one my end. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna let this take my my me down. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let. The, the, the devil or Satan get into my mind because with all of that that you just said and that you were doing whew, that's a lot and that's a lot to deal with mentally mm -hmm. you could lost your mind I for God it. that's what for God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. what did what the song say if it had not been for the Lord oh if it had not then that's what I'm talking about. So that, it, it's just, I ain't going to even start because y'all know I get to sing it up in here and hollering and shouting and ah, glory. But I'm just saying, it's just so amazing to see a young, you're not even 40. That's why I'm like, I got a child your age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a baby your age. That's what you're doing about the awareness. I had a patient. Um, and she looked at me. She also sang. Thing, going through what I was going, she looked at me and she said, you don't realize how powerful you are. 
And I was like, excuse, because I was having a bad, I couldn't remember anything. I mean, <laughs> you could ask me what my name was, and I ain't know. It's just like, you don't realize how powerful you are. Just you being here and seeing you continue to work, I'm still showing up. And that made me think, you know, and then after that, another one and another one and another one. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. I got to say. So, so what, how long were you out of work? And when did it, I mean, did, were you ever just out of work or did you just continue to move forward with working and pressing forward with what you had to do? I was out of work for about six months throughout the entire um, chemotherapy treatment and for the mastectomy. Um, there's no way I could have worked the, the, the chemo, the agents they had me on, I was, oh, I was not functional. I was not functional at all. Yeah. yeah. So, so, okay. So you say you did chemo for 20 weeks? Uh, uh, uh memory. memory. From, from Jeff Jeff May. 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 But he is, I ain't sure. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, you... You, so you did your chemo, you had your surgery, now you're just waiting for um, the big surgery. I think this is probably the biggest one. Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. you're going to be snatched and you're going to be on all the Beyonce videos, bouncing and shaking. I'm going to try. No, you're not. You're going to be on that quiet stand. That's You heard her, mama. Get her, mama. You're you going to be in that quiet loft. You're going you, you, you to be in the quiet loft. You're going to be preaching in that pulpit about this. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. God is going to bless you to preach a sermon about this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let me see. Cause we got, uh, let me see. Uh, Louise E said in agreement, it's not coming back. Um, wait a minute in Jesus name. Hallelujah. God is using you. You are amazing. And God bless you, sister. Yeah, that, that is, that's true. Then we had another one. Oh, I'm sorry. She said she lost both of her parents to cancer. What what um what kind what type of cancer if you could put in there? Um so we would know. Let me see. Australia, Nick, you have always been a fighter. You are an inspiration. We thank God for you. I can see mom and daddy smiling at you. Oh your fam. I'm I'm moving. I'm coming to this family. Okay. <laughs> when when is when is Thanksgiving? I'm coming. Thanksgiving. Because I'm telling you, mama gonna cook. I'm coming. I am now in the family, y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Um Connie Bond said, Alicia, you got kingdom business to do. So yes, we yes. we not yeah, yeah. We all speaking that into you right now. We are all speaking that into you right now. This is just it's just the first one. <laughs> if anybody See, the auntie said I'm welcome. Auntie, I'm on my way. I got a dog. I got to bring my puppet with me. But auntie said I can come into the family. I'll be there for Thanksgiving. Okay? Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Macaroni and cheese. Because I know mama can cook some macaroni and cheese. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That is good. Do we have any more questions? Because we're not going to hold Miss Alicia up because I know she, she got the baby the baby back there making all that noise. She's having her a good time. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> What's her name? Alayla. Oh, Alayla and Alicia. Yes. yes. All them A's. Double, double. <laughs> triple A's. Triple A's. <laughs> oh, anybody else got any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Uh, let me see. Let me see. All right. So I have a question and my question is, um, are you ready for your new life? Are you ready? Are you ready for your new journey? No, no. That's my problem. I've always been a planner. Um, and this is the deep, deep unknown. And uh, I just have to trust in his steps. That's all I can do. I'm not. <laughs> and he will order your steps. He will order your steps. And yes, I, just, yes. I want to inspire you. Um, I want to inspire you. And, and I want to inspire you because you are not only, not only is she my last tech. <laughs> But, 
but you are just an inspiration. You are an inspiration to me. You are an inspiration to all these women on here. You are an inspiration for women, single parents, um, because you have women that can't even get out to bed when they have cramps. <laughs> and you, you had, you had all this going on in your life. And you, you, I'm telling you, you, you just, you, you really inspire me and you inspire me to want to speak more about this. And, and, and I thank you for that. Um, you inspire me to want to press forward, um, about healing, about things that, that, that people need to do with healing. Cause the mental part, that's what got me the mental part, because see, you have to wake up every day and you have to see yourself looking a way that you did not look you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. the hair the now did you lose hair everywhere or was just a, it was it just your hair your, your hair or does all your hair come out i lost all the hair lost all the hair yep so when it started growing back it grew i had like a little beard i ain't even want to wax that i was so glad to have some hair <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I'm gonna wax that and put look. I'm gonna put that on top here. On, yeah. <laughs> so how long? How long was it out? Did it stay out long? I don't it remember it being out that long though. Exactly. Exactly. I'm so sad. Now I have. So if y'all can see it, yeah, it grows pretty quickly. It's a nice grain, though. Is that curls or yeah, you have single yeah, yeah. It's a little both. Um, but that's what happens when it comes back. It comes a different texture because you come bringing in new cells, new hair follicles, all that. New, yeah. Even from the radiation, um, where I got the radiation, I turned like a deep, deep purplish color. But my skin came back renewed, renewed to like a really light, light. It's real light. I ain't even light skin. But this new skin is light skin. So I look crazy. <laughs> All right. Miss P said, Alicia, thank you for sharing your story. May God continue to be with you through this journey. Because this is going to be an awesome journey for you. You seem to have the support system that's going to take you far. And I don't know. For some reason, I don't know. I just I just see you traveling with this. I see you... um. I see you traveling with this. I see you doing a lot of research with this. Um, and what I can say, and I'm, I'm not even going to start prophesizing. <laughs> not, I'm not. <laughs> glory to God. He used me. But I just, I just got to say, I can see that you're not going to be at your job long. Um, I think that God is going to move in your life. I think God is going to, um, he, he's going to definitely put you in a different position. Um, because of the fact, not just your age, but just your testimony. Your testimony is strong. Your testimony is is just is awesome. And and as being a young black fe single parent female, it's deep. So I think that your your testimony is going to go far. And I want your testimony to go far. So any 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 platform that I can get you on. Any any radio station I can get you anything I can do, I'm there because the fact that people need to hear this. Yeah. This yeah. is a serious, 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 serious disease. <laughs> and it's hard because some women don't know how to do exams. And that that's why I said if anyone anyone wants information, I am willing. I will I will email it to you. I will mail it to you. Any type of information that um, me or Alicia could get for you to help you out through through understanding this, learning how to do your self exams. Um, we can send some pamphlets out so that you will know how to do self exams. We can, um, if if you if you find out that that you do have breast cancer, it, it, you know it's just so much that I think this young lady can definitely help you with. Um, I think that she's positive. She's God-fearing, and we're all God-fearing. Amen. And and I just think that she is going to do a mighty work of God. And I am I'm so pleased to have the opportunity to have to have met you. I know. I know. Because I think that when you are walking on that stage and that big old stage, and you are going to start preaching and and saying the things that God is going to use you for that vessel to to move forward as an advocate 
for breast cancer awareness in black women. Yes. Yes. And I think that is your calling, not your business, not your job. That is your calling. And sometimes God put you in positions to move you further to what you have to do. And I think that this, this is, is a big step for you. And I'm, I'm excited and I can't wait to see what he has in store for you because I'm going to be right there in the back child and be screaming like you, my child. I'm going to be back there screaming because I'm so excited. I'm going to say, Alicia, my lash coming off. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see this is from um the truck is it fan fam okay okay so she said love you alicia you are such an inspiration and a brave beautiful soul yes she is you have you you have your wonderful grandpa watching over you amen that is a blessing that's a blessing. And that's that's where you're that's where it's all coming from. Your family supports you. And that that's that's a lot. It's a lot. That means a lot. That means a lot. So God be the glory for that. But if anybody has any more questions, I am not gonna hold y'all on here all night because I know people have to go to work. I know y'all got things to do. And hit the like button, subscribe because we do need that. And then I am going to remind you guys of um the healing circle so <laughs> oh the healing circle the healing circle the healing circle we are here to heal we heal we heal this was a great opportunity and i do thank her for allowing us to hear her story and share her personal information because that's it's personal um when you when you start talking about something that's so personal and and deep on the inside and that a lot of women are going through so i just wanted to thank you Thank you. Thank you for this. This meant a lot. Now, next Tuesday, I will not be in town, so I will not be doing anything, but hopefully my spiritual sister healing in your silence right there is going to take over on Tuesday for me. But I won't be here, guys. So I am going to be celebrating my birthday with the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if Dak, if Dak decides he wants to get on one knee, I will accept. <laughs> I will accept. But we are definitely, definitely, we are praying for you. We love you. We thank you so much for coming thank on and just sharing your story with us. It, it meant you. everything to me. And you did a very good job. She was so nervous. I don't know why. I don't know why she was nervous. No, 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 no. Talk. I don't talk. I don't. I do not do this. I don't talk. <laughs> this, this is, is so, so out of my, my uh -huh. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Let me tell y'all, did she just say go Eagles? So I'm going to delete her up out of here with this go. RT, <laughs> uh-uh, we're not doing no go Eagles. Stop it. <laughs> now, how you going, she's going to sit here and say she don't talk. Now, let me tell y'all, when I go get my lashes done, right? So I lay down. That's one what that's what what different. Different. That ain't no different. She she talks me to death. She talks so much that I hear myself snoring. I'd be like, oh, I didn't fell asleep. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but it's all good. I love y'all too. I love you guys too. Connor Bond said, Chelly, thank you too for this information and using the platform to teach and heal. That is what I am here for. I love it. I love, I, I love to reach one to teach one. I love to talk about healing because we have all been through so much, so much from abuse to sickness to, you know, um, um, lupus and, um, um, Crohn's disease and all, all autoimmune diseases. People are really, really going through and we are all here to heal together. No one, no one is better than anybody else here. No one, just because what, it, what you went through with your domestic violence or your narcissistic abuse, no one is different from anybody else. We're all here to heal and that's, that's a God's gift. And that is a treasure that we are all healing together. Amen. And I just want to thank you, Miss Nikki. For getting on here and just sharing your story and I am so proud of you I'm so proud of you because you 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 have really you, yeah you shocked me you oh, I'm scared I'm not gonna do you did an awesome job you explained things that um I, I mean I didn't even know so I mean you you explained a lot of things and and I just wanted to give 
anyone else or any if you have any questions anything that has to do with um with uh breast cancer or if not you know then we'll end it up end it but i want to give everybody an opportunity to ask questions um to this remarkable young lady um she has been here she has shared her story and um and it, 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 it she even got me crying over here so it, it, it was deep so because you know i've seen i've seen her i see her go i saw her go through this so and um it, it was amazing to to see the fight mm -hmm. and she never gave up and and, Don't and she's you. <laughs> she's in, she's inspiring because of the fact that i've never seen her cry or i've never seen her complain i've never heard anything negative it's always something positive and she always has something to say positive about anything when i even told her that i was being abused and you know and we talked and and you know and and i shared things with her she was still positive you know she still has something positive she's like sis you got this so yep, yep. you know um it's 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 good um let me see uh <laughs> exactly you're right pepsi girl pepsi girl said shelly you should do one um about us that have lupus and ra and yes i, yep, yep. I do have um lupus um i do have rheumatoid arthritis um it is in remission they cannot seem to find it amen because god is good so they cannot seem to find my lupus they keep sending me to neurologists and they keep sending me to but you know what i, I feel like this the lupus left when the narcissist left amen so he took the lupus with him because that's probably why i had it anyway going through all that stress but yes i had lupus i had rheumatoid arthritis I had fibromyalgia, high blood pressure, diabetes, everything when I was with the narcissist. And when that relationship was over, everything disappeared. And that was nothing but God. That was God. Everything disappeared. So God be the glory, y'all. God be the glory. I am so glad that we had this conversation. And she would definitely be back. We're going to do something again um, with her. Um, I didn't know you had RA Pepsi, girl. You have rheumatoid arthritis? Oh, my goodness. Girl. I know your pain. Them days you can't get when it's cold outside. I'm gonna pray. We I'm gonna pray for that. I'm gonna pray for that. Cause that, yeah, I know how you feel. Mm -hmm. And all the medications, girl. Mm, I feel you. So I know how that is. But I am definitely going to um we're gonna end out. So we're gonna end out. So um I am going to um see you guys tomorrow in the huddle. Um, the huddle is at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Our healing circle, healing circle, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Haria over the top. Um, oh, my gosh, you got Crohn's? I got better, too, from Crohn's when I left the NARC. This is amazing. <laughs> this is just amazing. So when, when you left the narcissist, your Crohn's went away? Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. We, we, okay, so, yeah, in November. In November, we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do a talk. We're going to do a talk about, um, I don't know what we're going to name it yet. I guess the, maybe the, um, the diseases that, that leave you or something that when you, when the, when the, when a domestic or a toxic relationship is over, how you become back to one, how you restore yourself to being back to that person that you were before you met them. Because I, like I said, I had all that when I was with them, but it's all good because you know it is gone amen so we we fight other battles now we fight other battles but um that's deep i didn't even know that kanita so uh we will talk about that we will talk about that so i'm not gonna hold you guys i want to thank you i want to thank you alicia so you can go and put the baby to bed she didn't got quiet so she must have went to sleep she, she off, off and off, and off. <laughs> <laughs> that's a blessing that's a blessing so i just want to thank you guys so let me let me tell you the healing circle real quick so monday wednesday friday hurry up over the top nine o'clock eastern standard time tuesday chatting with chelly um eight o'clock eastern standard time size for next tuesday i'm not being in town um 
Thursdays, a tea on MPD and relationships tells you she will have a um, a powerhouse speaker on this Thursday. If you guys want to swing by, he is awesome. He is going to drop a word from the Lord. Healing, healing, healing. Wednesday for tea time, you have Alicia Breeze at five o'clock. Um, five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Healing, healing, healing. Saturdays. Actually, healing in your silence. Can you put your days in? Are you going to do Saturday? Saturdays, nine o'clock. Um, Eastern Standard Time, Saturday nights, and then when Saturdays after Healing Your Silence does her um, YouTube channel, we will jump into um, the the clubhouse and we can we can reconvene with that. And then of course on Sundays is Joy Pink Girl teaches she does her her healing channel on Sundays at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So we want you all to um, join in and be healed, be whole and be able to walk into your boldness. Amen. So I just want you all to know that I love each and every one of you. I want God to rain down his blessings on each and every one of you. You have heard a powerful testimony from a 36 year old single black female. That was deep. And I am waiting for your book. I'm waiting for your book. I'm waiting for your book. It's coming. Go claim, go it's coming. Claim, go. I'm claiming it for you. I'm claiming it for you. Amen. I am claiming it for you. But sis, I love you. And thank you so much for just giving us just a little bit of your time. Because I know you got to get out. You work tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you got to get up like us. So look, everybody have a great night. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged and just know that if God is if if God is for you, that's all you need. Mm -hmm, Who could mm -hmm. be against you? So just know that and just stay prayed up. And everybody have a wonderful, blessed night. And just try to get some rest tonight because y'all know the hoovers are real. The narcissists are out. It's getting cold and they ready to lay up next to you. But the devil is a liar. They ain't getting none of my people. And I mean that. Y'all have a good night. I love y'all. All, all right. Good night. <laughs>